Okay, this will be the Algebra 1 um, sample test for 2019-2020 on radicals. Okay, so we went over radicals a lot, okay, uh, in this unit, okay. All right, the big thing you gotta distinguish, square root, cube root, okay, all right. So with uh, square roots, okay, now we, all, we wanna start by seeing if we can divide everything by two. Okay, so I'm going to take 98, 98 divided by 2 is 49, okay, then I'm going to see if I can fit, uh, divide 49 by 2, I cannot, so I'll try 3, okay, so you want to go 2, 3, then I want to try 5, that doesn't work, and then 7, that's your prime numbers, so that's 7 and 7. Now, I know I stop with my branches when I reach two prime numbers. So I cross off everything that has a double branch. Okay, since I have a square root, I am looking for pairs of numbers. Now, the only thing that I did not circle or cross off was the two. I'm allowed to take one number out of that, so that would be seven. Okay, so that's my answer, seven, square root of two. Okay, start the same process with 192. Okay, I'm gonna divide 192 by two. I get 96, 2 and 96. I divide that by 2. See if 96 can be divisible by 2. It can, 2 and 48. I divide 48 by 2. It's 2 and 24, okay? 24 divided by 2 would be 12. 12 divided by 2 would be 6. 6 divided by 2 would be 3. And now I stop here because I've reached two prime numbers. Everything with a double branch, I cross off. Now, since I am at cube root, I am looking to circle three terms that are the same. So if you can see, three twos, all right, three twos there. The only thing left over was that three. That goes on the inside. I'm allowed to take one two from this group, one two from that group. Those go outside as multiplication. So that would be four cube root of three, okay? Do the same thing with 288, okay? 288 divided by two, okay, would be two and 144. If I divide 144 by two, I would get 72. Divide it again by two, I would get 36. I'm just shortening up the calculator. You can type this into the calculator, but this is just faster, okay? All right, 18 divided by two would be nine. Now, when I go to divide nine by two, I get a decimal, so that one I can't use. So I'm going to try three. That's going to be three and three, two prime numbers. So I cross off everything with a double branch. Since it's a square root, I'm looking for pairs. Here's a pair, here's a pair, here's a pair. So the only thing that's left over is that two. I can only take one out of each thing. So two times two times three. So I'm going to figure out what that is two times two times three gives me 12, so that would be 12 square root of two. Good. Whoops, too far. Okay, all right, 800. 800 divided by two will be 400. 400 divided by two would be 200. 200 divided by two would be 100. 100 divided by two would be 50. 50 by two would be 25, okay? Now, 25 is not divisible by 2, nor is it divisible by 3, but it is divisible by 5. Okay, so 5 and 5. Once again, cross off all the ones with double branches. Square root, so pair, pair, pair. Okay, the only thing I'm left with is a 2 inside. I take 1 out of each of these. So 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 times 5. 20. 20 square root of 2. Okay? Cube root of 80. 2 and 40. 2 and 20. 2 and 10. 2 and 5. Okay? All right? Uh, I've reached two primes, so I cross off everything with a double branch. Since it's a cube root, I'm looking to circle three items. Now, I can't circle these two because it's not three that are the same. So those are my leftovers. Okay? A 2 and a 5. I can take one out of that, so that's going to go there. So it's 2 cube root, 2 times 5 would be 10. Okay? All right, 4,320. You can start the same process again. Okay? All right, uh, 
2 and 2160. And now that's going to be divisible by 2. It's got to figure out what the amount is. 1080 divisible by 2. 540. 540 divisible by 2 will be 270. 270 divisible by 2 will be 135. Now I got to check 135. All right, 135 is not divisible by 2. 135 is, is it divisible by 3? Yes, 3 and 45. Okay, 45 I don't believe is divisible by 2. 45 is divisible by 3. So I'm at 3 and 15. Okay, 15 is divisible by by, not divisible by 2, but it is by 3, so I get 3 and 5, so prime numbers. Cross off everything with the double branch. Since it is cube root, I'm looking to circle 3 of the same. Here's 3 of the same, mm, not quite, got 2 of the same, got 3 of the same here, okay? So the leftover here, all right, was 2 twos and a 5. 2 twos and a 5. I can take one out of this, one out of this, that goes out front here. So that'd be six cube root. Uh, that's going to end up being 20. Okay. Moving on to these ones with the variable. Okay. All right. So what we want to do, let's figure out the square root part first. All right. So two and 20, two and 10, two and five. Cross off everything with a double branch. Square root looking for pairs. Okay. This is left over. Okay, so those go inside, take one out of this, okay? Now, let's explain what to do with the 15. I'm gonna take 15 and divide it by two, okay? All right, if I divide 15 by two, I get uh, seven, okay? Now, the way it works with square roots is the remainder is what goes on the inside. So if I multiply seven times two, it's 14. How many more to get to 15? One. Okay? All right. So this will be the exponent outside. This will be the exponent inside. Okay? So x7, x1. So let's just calculate. That would be 2, x7. That would be 10, x1. Okay? In Algebra 1, if you get a, if you get a number here with a decimal, okay, a half, okay, 0.5 is 1 over 2 as a fraction. Okay? All right, 0 0.5 is 1 over 2 is a fraction. All right, so let's break down 54. 2 and 27, okay, 27 does not, is not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3, so 3 and 9, and 9 will be 3 and 3, so I cross off these. Square roots, I'm looking for a pair, okay, this will be my leftover of 2 and 3. I can take 1 out of this, okay, so now let's handle these individually, okay. 9 divided by 2, okay? 9 divided by 2 will be 4 with the decimal means I have a remainder, okay? So what I do is I multiply 4 times 2 to figure out the remainder. 8, one more gets me 9, okay? If I do 26, to, uh, 26 divided by 2, okay? If I do 26 divided by 2, I get 13. There is no remainder there, okay? Now, let's go to the Z. When I do 2 divided by no pair there, so both of those will go on the inside, okay? And now I'm going to break down these radicals, okay? 10 divided by 2 will just be 5. 36 divided by 2 will just be 18. And 41 divided by 2, all right, that's going to be a decimal, okay? 41 divided by 2, okay, is 20, okay? Since I got the decimal, 20 times 2 would be 40, one more would get me there, okay? So what I'm going to have here, okay, all right, is I'm going to have x to the 5th outside, y to the 18th outside, z to the 20th outside, with z to the 1st on the inside, okay? So I'm going to calculate that, all right? That's going to be 21, z to the 1st, x5, y18, z20, okay? So that would be my answer right there, okay? Let's go on to the last half of the test. Okay, all right, <clears throat> what's these radicals in the original form? Here's all you have to do with that. 
When you bring this back, that means that I would have two of those eights. Okay, so remember how we only could take one out, so if it's a square root, we can put two back in. So eight times eight times three will just be square root of 192. Same thing with this one, I can move this five back, so it would be five times five, okay? So it just doubles up, 10 times five times five. Whoops. That's the square root of 250. Okay, all right. <clears throat> All right, um, identify the expression in simplest form. Now, what you, to figure that out, what you can do is look at, can these radicals get any smaller? So if I divide eight by two, I can see that's two and four. So this one's no good, I can't use that one. Now this one, all right, there's only gonna be a one and a five, okay? So then that's, that's, got a, that's gonna be a small one, okay? This one could reduce the two and six, so this one's no good, okay? This one, all right, when you get to the letters, that's one and three, that's a possibility, all right? And the x to the first, if I divide that by two, if it doesn't, if it gives me a zero, then I'm good there. That one would work, okay? Six would be two and three, but there are no pairs there, okay? There are no pairs there, so that's also an x to the first, so that one is good, okay? All right? Okay, now, um, this last one, would be, uh, let's check this one out, okay? So three is okay because I got no pairs there, but that two divided by two would be one. So I can't use that because that would be, that x to the first would come outside. Okay. All right, let's move on to about a few of the operations questions. Okay, and then we'll be done. All right, <clears throat> so what I want to do here is I want to multiply 18 and 20 which is 360, okay, break down 360, be two and 180, two and 90, two and 45. Now the only thing 45 is divisible by is three, so three and 15, and this would be three and five. So you can check what they are, okay? I think you guys have figured that out by now. So for square roots, I got a pair, I got a pair. These two are left over, so the two and five are inside. I can take a two and a three, okay? So that's six square root of 10. Okay, all right, this one, okay, I would put a one here, so I'd multiply the insides and the outsides. So it would be negative five, square root of 84. Now I'm gonna go ahead and circle that number right there. That's gonna be part of our circle group, okay? So two and 42, two and 21, and then 21 is not divisible by two, but if you can see this, it's divisible by three. Okay, so three and seven. Okay, only looking for a pair. So what's left over is three and seven. I would take one, two, and I'm also gonna take this negative five here, so that's why it's circled. So negative 10, square root of 21. Okay? Then this, I would multiply this, and I'd multiply that. So it'd be 32, square root of 100. Okay, I'm gonna circle that 32. All right, that'd be two and 50, two and 25, now 25 would only be divisible by five. It's not divisible by anything else. So five and five. So crossing off all those. Here's a pair, here's a pair. As you can see, there are no leftovers. So I don't need to make a radical. I can just take this 32, a two, and a five. One out of each thing. Okay, so 32 times two times five is 320. Okay, moving on. I think we've got a few more of these left. Okay, multiplication here, okay? All right, that would be a one, so I'd multiply that, be negative one. Eight times that would be 24, I circle that negative nine. Two and 12, two and six, two and three. Cross off all these. Square roots looking for pairs, okay? So those are left over. So two times three, one out of this, one out of this. Negative nine times two, so negative 18, square root of six, okay? Now, for addition, what I wanna do is I wanna break these down individually. So two and 36, two and 18, two and nine, three and three. Cross off the double branches, okay? Pair, pair. What's left over is a two. This will be a two, I take one from this and one from this. So this one would be six square root of two, okay? Then I break down eight, two and four, two and two. 
Okay, here's a pair. There's my leftover. All right, so I would have um, my leftover would be two. I take one out of this, so this will be two. So I got plus two square root of two. Then I got 18. That would be two and nine, and then three and three. Once again, here's my pair. Okay, so what's left over is two. I take one out of this, so this would be this. Now, once I get to this point, the only way I can add like ones is if those numbers are the same. So then I'm just going to add these right here. Okay, so I'm going to add six plus two plus three gives me 11. So 11 square root of two. Okay, now this one, this one and five are already broken down. I can't do anything with that. The 80 would be 2 and 40, 2 and 20, 2 and 10, then 2 and 5. Okay? Since I'm pairs, pair, pair, what's left over is 5. I can take 1 out of each, so 2 times 2, which would be 4. Okay? All right? So I keep this minus here, and that's 10 square root of 5. Now, since these are the same, I can look at subtracting those. So 10 minus 4 is 6 square root of 5. Okay? That's your answer. All right? I think these are the last group coming up. Okay? I think these only have three questions here, I think. Yep. Only got three. Okay? This one cannot get any smaller. This one, let me check the 175. That's a different kind of number than two, divided by 2. Okay? Uh, I can't divide that by 2. Can I divide that by 3? Can I divide that by 5? So 5 and 35. 35 is not going to be divisible by 2 or 3, but it is divisible by 5. So 5 and 7. So cross off, cross off. Here's my pair. My leftover is 7. I can take 1 out of this, so it's 5. I keep the plus there. So I got this. Okay, so since those are the same, I can do that plus that. Okay, so negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4, negative 4 square root of 7. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to this. Okay, all right, I'm going to circle this right here. Okay, because that's a number out front. Okay, 2, 16, 2, 8, 2, 4, 2, 2. Cross off the double branches. Pair, pair, left over. Okay, so I got two, I can take this negative 12, I can take one from here, I can take one from here. So that would be negative 48, square root of two. I'm gonna circle this three because I'm gonna do two and 49, and that's gonna end up being seven and seven. We broke down that one earlier from before, okay? Here's my pair, okay? So I got, um, uh, my leftover is two, I can take one from this, one from this, okay? So that's going to be um, minus 21 square root of 2. Okay, since these are the same, I can just do subtraction. Okay, all right, negative 48 minus 21. Okay, square root of 2. Okay, all right, so the key is breaking them down separately, then doing the addition and subtraction. Okay, moving on to this last one. Okay, 75 is divisible by 3, and five, I gotta circle this 8, that would be 5 and 5. Cross off those, here's my pair. My leftover here is 3, I can take an 8, I can take a 5. So that would be 40 square root of 3. This I can't do anything with because the 1 and 2, nothing happens. So I'm just gonna bring this down here next to it. Then I take this uh, 12, that would be uh, 2 and 6, 2 and 3. Here is my pair, here is my leftover. Okay, so I can only take one out of that. So that's minus two square root of three. Now, need to be careful here. The only ones that are alike are that. So I can do 40 minus two, which would be 38, square root of three, you keep those square roots, and then I leave this nine square root of two right here, okay? So the key thing in adding is you keep whatever the reduced radical is and just add or subtract the numbers out front, okay? All right, all right, so if that's two, it stays two, seven stays seven. You can't add ones with different radicals. Okay, if you just practice that up, you should do fine on this test.